Okay, welcome to the Tinnitus Treatment Channel and today we're going to be talking about pulsatile tinnitus causes. Um, so let's have a look first of all at what symptoms um, basically will tell you that you have pulsatile tinnitus. So um, if there is a thumping, a whooshing rhythmic kind of sound that's in your ears and it is in time with your heartbeat um, that's a very common symptom there and also the main thing that differentiates pulsatile tinnitus from normal tinnitus is that sometimes other people can actually hear this sound not only yourself. Now if we're going to look at uh, causes We'll have a look at a general description first and then um, go into a little more detail about it, okay? So, um, generally what the cause is for pulsatile tinnitus is an irregular blood flow through the blood vessels in the neck and head. And um, this can happen uh, in many, uh, many different ways. And uh, what uh, we've got here there's a list of some of the not so well known and I guess well known in medical circles uh, causes that can lead to this happening here. Um, so if we start with idiopathic intracranial hypertension um, it's also known as IIH and it's a neuro neurological disorder with the symptom of increased pressure on the brain. Um, the interesting thing here is that uh, there is no tumour or any other diseases present with this condition and generally um, you'll feel a throbbing headache um, if this is one of the causes of, of your pulsatile tinnitus. Moving on we'll have a look at ASVD and um, this is more common in people over the age of 50 because it's um, due to a build of cholesterol or fatty materials that build up on the artery walls so um, th this causes the wall obviously to to harden up and it uh, decreases the blood flow coming through the vessels so as you can imagine um, you can sort of connect the dots as to why this causes the pulsatile situation intracranial vascular lesions um, this is when a lesion uh, basically is the cause uh, of the blood flow becoming becoming irregular. So if there is a lesion on your artery or blood, uh, blood vessel wall, it, it can cause this to happen. Um, there, generally, uh, the technique for, for uh, checking this, if you do have tinnitus because of this, is um, to record uh, the analysis Sorry, sorry, to record and analyze the blood flow by using a transducer. So that's if you have intracranial vascular lesions. A middle ear inf effusion is uh, pretty simply a middle ear infection that occurs between the outer ear and the inner ear. So um, this will probably increase the blood flow because you have an infection in your ear and the increased blood flow causes you to hear, obviously, the blood flowing at an irregular pace. Uh, venous hum is not that bad. Venous hum is uh, when the blood flow through the vertebral arteries um, it drains the internal jugular veins. So you, the veins in your jugular, the internal veins in your jugular there get drained because of the blood flow through your artery. It's in, the, in the, your vertebrae. Uh, so obviously the veins there in your neck have a decreased blood flow and Leads to pulsatile tinnitus. This one uh, is actually quite easy to treat. It's, it's it's not really that big of a problem. And uh, finally, twisted arteries, of course, are another uh, another another cause that can be looked at as well. So, if uh, you're interested in finding out more information about these causes and also uh, treating them as well, come visit our website. It is www.treatmenttinnitus.org. Um, or you can have a look at our channel here. So have a look at, um, at the other videos we've got on the channel. We've got a treatment, pulsatile tinnitus treatment video. Um, and I've also put a link just near the video to, um, to our pulsatile tinnitus uh, posts on our website as well. So I hope it's been uh, valuable information and we'll see you on the other side.